Okay, so what are some of the things that I learned so far in my motherhood era? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the part two of my life update. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys my greatest blessing and really for me and my husband's greatest highlight of 2022 and 2023 and that is becoming new parents. We are parents to a very healthy baby boy and his name is Ezekiel James Basler. And boy, oh boy, that little guy has my whole heart. He definitely changed my perspective. It really gave me a different sense of being, like I have a, a deeper sense of purpose. Looking back in our pregnancy journey, as well as looking back in 2022 and 2023, everything was falling into place when it comes to our career me and andrew's career in the military after we were able to buy a house we started talking about starting a family and at some point in 2022 i remember my sister who is also in the military she was currently deployed at that time they were going a port visit in hawaii and she invited me and my sister and my mom to a girl's trip so at that at that time i was very excited but then at the same time a little hesitant to go in the trip because of you know when buying a home it involves a lot of finances so just trying to make sure that everything is covered everything is good to go going back and forth if i'm going or i'm not going but my sister was very generous enough to like hey i got everything covered um, if you want to come join us all you have to do is buy your plane ticket and at that time looking back one thing that i realized is i could always make more money in the future but i won't be able to buy back that time i won't be able to go back in time and have that experience with them if i didn't have to go and a part of me just knows that this is going to be my last trip with them as a wife before becoming a mom it's like the last trip where i don't have to worry about a little baby or a little kid where i can just go with them and not think about the other responsibilities as a mom so i was like manifesting it attracting and speaking into existence and i'm like you know what i'm going on this girl's trip with them me and andrew revisited our conversation about starting a family so i got in touch with my provider to remove my birth control and just to make sure that everything we love is good to go and then me and andrew started our homework so around april we celebrated our baby shower and that's another thing that i'm also very grateful about the people from our family our friends the people we work with everyone actually a realtor here and her family uh, with tito and her wonderful girls and also my sisters who really helped me out in planning the baby shower they actually did all all of it so i was very stress-free and that's one thing i was very thankful in this pregnancy journey because i really didn't have the energy to plan anything at all and they really came through so it's very very grateful for that to be able to celebrate the journey with everyone and then when it comes to the delivery, my due date was June 8 and he was born June 3. So obviously he wanted to come out and see the world earlier than estimated and that's okay and that's totally fine i'd say that in my perspective it still went smoothly i wouldn't say that everything went exactly as planned but i am just grateful that we had a very healthy baby and a very smooth pregnancy looking back on the first few weeks after delivery man when i tell you that newborn stage is a different kind of beast uh-uh, it's not for the week. <laughs> it was such a 
precious time getting to know our baby and at the same time also navigating the challenges as new parents as new mom i've had my own challenges as well when it comes to nursing lactating and then me and andrew figuring out us we go into our new role as a mom and dad and also for ezekiel it must be overwhelming and hard for him as well being on the earth side trying to figure out the world not being in my womb anymore learning how to you know to suck learning how to give the cues when he's hungry or whatnot and this is again the part where i cannot stress it out enough that i am just so grateful with the support system that i have starting with andrew who's been there with me every step of the way since we found out that we were pregnant i'm also very grateful being in the military that you know he is not deployed or somewhere else that we were able we were able to welcome our child together during that newborn stage as well reflecting to it i don't know how i will survive it without my immediate support system the friends who reach out my sisters my mom uh, who was really hands-on when it comes to helping to us my hands-on i mean they would come over every day or every other day just to help us out in taking care of zeke so that me and andrew can get some sleep because we are we are very sleep deprived especially uh, during the night feedings and then my mom would cook us food so that was such a great help and also for our friends and work family who reached out and sent their support through meal trains that was such a huge huge help as well so thank you my dad in the philippines he is still living there and even though he's not here physically the amount of support he has given us especially with prayers that was also very helpful Right now, we have a very healthy nine-month-old baby boy. Who loves you? Hello! Oh, hello! Mm. Want to do some books? Uh, <laughs> night, 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 night. <laughs> Can you believe that? Sometimes I still pinch myself. Like, how is it nine months ago already? How is it that we're gonna have a one year old in three months? It still feels so surreal that I feel that I just delivered yesterday. <laughs> But he is such a very happy baby, always smiley. A lot of people says that he looks just like his dad and fine, whatever. But I am claiming his smiley face. He got that from me. He being so happy and you know, his eyes just always lights up with joy. He definitely got that from me. I'm claiming it. So what are some of the things that I've learned so far in my motherhood era? First things first is a change of perspective. Since having Zeke, everything just really shifted with my goals, with my career intentions, with my aspirations. It also really taught me of better time management, of prioritization, even setting boundaries. Like when I'm at work, I'm here, this is the amount of time, but at a certain time, I have to leave because I still have a baby to nurse, I still have a baby to take care of, off. so to me that was really one of the first things that really changed me next is the amount of love i couldn't really tell you how much my heart burst or grew a billion times bigger since becoming a mom just seeing my child and seeing the joy in his eyes or him looking at me it gave me a different sense of purpose i think this really also shows the amount of love i'm willing to give the amount of sacrifice i'm willing to do and to put his needs first before mine patience and flexibility i think that i am a very patient person but since having Zeke, I, I learned how to become more patient and also with the flexibility, being able to adapt with certain challenges and being able to adapt to any unforeseen circumstances or situations such as having a poop diaper or when things don't go as planned. 
also learn about communication and what I mean by that is being able to communicate myself better uh, first is to Andrew my husband how can I communicate what I need not just as Janine not just as a wife but now as a mother how can we come to a compromise being able to communicate now the different schedules that revolves not just around us but as well as schedules around Zeke with his medical appointments and also communicating expectations because like I said now we're not just husband and wife we are now both a mommy and a daddy so how can we better our communication so I'm really really proud of that for me and Andrew I think that's that's also a huge part of what I learned in this journey most especially I learned about emotional resiliency looking back I had to navigate to different kind of roles one becoming a new mom next is becoming a new parent with my partner and then being a working mom going back to work as a full-time mother was very challenging for me i definitely went through a phase where i am at work and like i said i'm always like smiley happy but then i go to my office and i would literally cry look at the photos of my baby because we've been together for like 16 weeks 24 7 and then now i am limited to be around him because i am at work so that was such a huge adjustment it really helps me with my postpartum journey being able to share with you guys what i have learned little pieces of my life and hopefully i can provide some value or some inspiration being able to pour my heart or my passion when it comes to creating and sharing things that i love such as skincare and now this motherhood journey so i hope that you guys stay around and i'll see you guys for the next video